10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, let's go. Uh, there's, there's some characters in this side. Uh, I'll tell you, Dale Stain's a character too, new hairstyle, same outswinger. First ball. Oh, good ball. He is just... You look at some players around world cricket and you say, how many of them transcend generations? And I think with Dale Stain, you say that very easily. Yeah, quite comfortably. Great fast bowler. And he's been an amazing performer for South Africa. And you think back to when he was just a, a young lad and he started, that outswinger was there. It was there from the time he started. Two slips for him. That's a good, for a good shot first up from uh, Rohit Sharma. Australia, 267. The last time either of these sides played here is what they scored batting first. Oh, there's the first one. He's come closer to the batsman. Excellent first over. None for none. Vernon Philander gets the new ball. And this is something you will see from South Africa right through. Start to say, okay, who are the good fielders in the South African side? That's a big score against this attack. Yep. And here's the first of those. He's got enough on that. That will be the first boundary as well. Look how quick that outfit is too. That raced away. That's a big boundary out that side too. Remember the, the team batting first, the part of the average score is 282. That's an average score. It's a good pitch. Good shot, this. Could have been sweating on something on the pads and he gets it. Vernon Philander a little bit straight and Shikha Dhawan just collects. Just leans on it, really helps it on its way for four. Good way to get started. Mm. It's a huge outfield, this, especially square. Not quite straight, but square is huge. in throw and the always five for us and that might be the second boundary how do you set a field it's such a large ground fielder was that sort of normal third man and he was beaten by about 10 meters into the boundary I haven't seen the outfield look as good as this it's like carpet and it's rock hard too the ball's just flying across the outfield Good shot. Quick that raceway. It's like gaining pace. Good solid shot at the front foot. Oh, it's a bit of a slip. And I think this might be it. We're talking about this, the fielders taking an extra wicket. He slipped. And I think that might be fatal for Rohit Sharma. Wow, that's just absolutely brilliant, that. That's just sensational feeling. We talked about maybe making a catch or making a dismissal. There you go, right there. This is probably going to be out. The way, yep. look at that. That's just sensational fielding. Only one stump to aim at. Yeah, he's gone. He's on his bike. Well done, South Africa. Rohit Sharma's gone. What a piece of fielding. There's two parts to it as well. It's not just the, the throw. The throw's important. Yes, it hits the target. But when that is hit into the covers, the first thing is the dive at the parry it to A.B. de Villiers, who's then fleet of foot and also accurate. It's just seen a wonderful moment from A.B. de Villiers. South Africa have got their big moment in this match early. It's nine for one after three. Oh, beautifully bowled. Test hundreds in the series. And he batted really well even here at the MCG. Nine for one after four. Oh, wow. Tell you what, another day. Some of those just take the glove and go away. Or take a bit of the bat and go away. And these two. But you see, he hasn't, he's, he's not said anything. He just knows he's done his job. He knows he's got the batsman in trouble, doesn't need to say anything. That followed him, didn't it? <laughs> Just sit back, no need to say anything there when you bowl a delivery like that. A little bit of a chuckle. I'm sure when they share a drink in the IPL <laughs> that later on they might have a gig. Oh, 
Oh, oh. Lucky, very lucky that it didn't carry. It's Wayne Parnell who's diving then, having to try and go forward. Well, didn't hit it too well, but he knew fine leg was inside the circle. Well, Tessa throwing arm as well, this outfield on it. Mm. Oh, the gap. Comes along, whack it for four. Third boundary for Shikhar Dhawan. I just set it square that field. This Kohli. By no means a half volley, but he got it quite near the top of the bounce. He has that wonderful way of getting his hands through the ball. So can hit the ball on the up better than most complicated he had very simple footwork tried to stay still as much as he could that's a glorious shot he's looked very good Shekhar Dhawan this time through the offside the second boundary of this over yeah Shekhar Dhawan really finding his feet now it's a wonderful shot on the up he's got the two fielders very square one a square cover and one a back four Intentional from Shikadawa and wide and there to be hit. Some cricket. I think it's been led by John T. Rhodes. I think the World Cup was a long time ago here in Australia in 92. But he showed the way. Fortunately, Mourne Morkel doesn't finish this over well for South Africa. Two full, two straight. And Virat Kohli won't miss out on those ones. Eight from the over, 45 for one. Really found his niche now as a one-day international operator. Will they come back for two? Oh, this field from Dalstein allows them to. A rare error. Well, it's good pressure from the batsman as well. Great stroke. Wow, I love that. Very difficult stroke to play. Not a half volley. They hit it that straight. Get it that cleanly. Tells us that Shikadao ends in good touch. It's 56 for one. That's a good delivery. And we see the delivery again. Oh, it's a vicious one. Oh, they've gone up for this Ooh. one. Yes, but it's only a leg spinner. <laughs> <laughs> now they're debating whether or not to uh, go with the referral. He's an excitable fellow in Brad <laughs> you've got to admit. Uh, he is. Loves his celebrations. Expresses himself in a very, very big way. But Quinton de Kock seemed pretty oh, confident there as well. Threw the ball up. Yeah. We can hear South Africa. Looked like another top spinner there. Yeah, he's got a little bit of spin. I don't think it caught any of the glove. Effort from one lane, right? But yeah, put down. It's good captaincy from AB de Villiers. He put an extra man in that area. It is one of his strengths, Chika Darwin, but uh, Hashim Amla, great effort, but couldn't quite hold on. Is that a game changer? You'd still put that down as a life, wouldn't you? It's definitely a chance for sure. I don't think he'll mind that very much. But that would have been a stunning run out had he uh, effected it. Now, no ball called. They love a free hit. There's a lot of them to cheer it. And it's going to be Coley on strike for it.
Well, well that, that's it, not a no it, ball. It must be because of a fielding thing. There can't have been enough fielders in the ring. Yeah, but he's signaling free hit there, so well. Wasn't no ball, I don't think. Not no, even nearly a no ball. So, so I'm interested that the third umpire can't change that. Yeah, and if you think about in the scheme of things, what that could mean much later on. I mean, yeah. the free hit, the number of runs that you the get runs, from the it. extra ball. Goodness gracious! So we have to add up the runs here and the runs off the seventh ball of the over. Here we go. Back will catch it too, I'm sure. Coley gets two from it. Smart work from the from the batsmen to make sure that they get back for the second and they were willing each other to come on, move along. Yes, he's gonna catch it, but we've got to maximize. It's a concern, that sky. And that's where it comes from over the scoreboard is where it comes from. And when we were out there today, it was so hot and so humid. You felt it felt a bit stormy the weather. There's a there's only a, there's a forecast as a possible shower. So nothing major. So if it is come, forecast it does come a possible through. shower or a possible storm. Possible shower. Okay. So right. maybe just let it go. That won't last long. If it does, hopefully it'll go around us. It might miss us. Four seasons in one day, isn't it, Mel Melbourne? Uh, can be. <laughs> That's a beautiful city, man. It is Great that. city. My goodness, it is. And it's been hot. Generally, this time of year is really hot too. But when do you generally get those four seasons in a day? The summer is generally pretty good. There was a bit of a shower yesterday as well, actually. Didn't last long. No, like not, at all. That's not at all. Where I else. was was a bit more than a bit of a shower. <laughs> Sitting in Brisbane waiting for the start of the Australian oh, right. Bangladesh <laughs> match. That was no shower. Gee, it was a painful day. That will race to the boundary. A poor ball from JP Dumini. Brilliant. Clever. Brilliant. As good as one by McCullum a couple of days back. Oh. And then that. As a double whammy, it's unstoppable. I said when we sat down, South Africa need two wickets. Because... Good shot. Oh, it's on. Yeah, yeah, it just seems like he's changed gears here. He's really going up a gear. Got lucky. And Imran Tahir got very unlucky. Yeah, there's that slip you're talking about if you want a wicket. Yeah, well, I think you know, they brought back the leg spinner, they brought back Stain. Good delivery. It looked like the quicker one, like a flipper or out the front of the hand then from Tone. Beat him for pace. With all these wickets in hand and such good stroke makers to come. Oh, perfect. Could have been Tendorga, it was Cody. That's a class shot there. We know what a class player Cole is. He's been in sporting arena. I've got to say that. Out. Very important catch. Faf Duplessis holds on to so many, so many that matter too. Coley can barely believe it. As so often, the overspin on the ball forces the mistake. Virat Kohli looking great. It looked like the overspinner was a short one. Virat Kohli just had to try and beat midwicket. He's picked him out, and you see that so many times in one-day cricket. Pick out that midwicket. Look how upset and disappointed with himself he is, Virat Kohli. So, I mean, I said at the start of the tournament, and I maintain it, that there are three sides: England, India, Australia, who might have missed a trick not having a wrist spinner. The wrist spinners pick up wickets in one-day cricket. They just do. And often, funny enough, with short balls because of overspin and splicing it. Coley was very nearly caught deep mid-on early in his... In well, it just comes off differently, doesn't it, the leg break bowler? Just one one will skid, one will sit, one will bounce a bit more than you think. Uh, it's just always handy. If you've got a wrist spinner, it's even 
Well, Tahi does a wonderful job for South Africa. He gets some sort of wrist spin, it's just different. It just, the ball reacts differently rather than just a normal left arm ortho or right arm off. I'm a little bit biased too, I don't mind saying <laughs> that. More leg spin is the better. There Good are a reason. few available. Cameron Boyce and Fawad for Australia and Ad Adil Rashid for England and uh, Chawla and Mishra for India. Yeah, there's plenty of wrist There's a lot of wrist spinners around at the moment. He'll bowl better deliveries to get wickets. Mm, mm. And Coley tries to jump all over that because it feels it's short and it's going to put it away. And there's the opportunity. As much Fuff Duplessy there who's patrolling to try and stop ones he had done so previously. And perhaps that's the reason also Coley goes hard at it because he's thinking opportunity to get boundary here rather than just put, down the ground somewhere yeah, for one. pressure back on the ball. He's been bowling pretty well to here too. Gone 138 for two. Oh, that's a fabulous shot. He's a superb puller of the cricket ball, Ajin Kirahane, that races away to the fence. Devilliers has decided to try and attack here. He's brought a slip into place because he wants to try and put India under some pressure. And the only pressure that's been applied is from Ajin Kirahane's bat. In front of Skir, he's dealt with that with absolute ease. It's just banged in, comes up waist high. That's not going to worry a man of his caliber. Yeah, very good positions. He's very strong on the back foot of Jinky Rahane. Clip, the line's got to be right as well. He scores a lot of runs through the pull shot. 18% of his runs have come through the pull shot. It's his most productive. Yeah, that's a better line. That's an outside edge. That'll go all the way to the fence. Now, did that carry though? We'll take a look. 170 for two. Sometimes you can end up wanting one run too much. Should be looking for two here. Four. Oh, Michael for four. That was uh, that was more immortal. I thought long legs he might get there, but the ball just kept going further and further away. Of all the boundaries here at the MCG, this is the shortest one. And as you say, Hush, it didn't look like that timing was going to take it all the way. But it's a very quick outfield. We've seen evidence of that. Too wide from Ponell. Uh, hit the chalk end of the bat. But the contact was still good enough due to the fact that it goes behind point on the offside. The hands go up, Mornay, that's your ball, but unfortunately he can't run it down. Interesting expression, that chalk end. Actually, Mornay Morkel had come in, he had come finer mm. because the previous delivery had gone fine. They're playing the moment on this, South Africa. Where is Shikhar Dhawan? He's in the moment, he is, hits it through. What a good, what a good innings from Shikhar Dhawan. It will eventually get to the boundary. And he's back, and he's back in style when he scores runs. Wow, he looks, uh, he looks some player. Well, once again, 100 against South Africa. He got it at Cardiff in the Champions Trophy, which India went on to win. This has been a very special one. Been a tough time for him the last couple of months. Come the World Cup, Shikhar Dhawan gets a 7 to 1 day 100. 183 for 2 after 35. Superb innings from Sheikh Adam, 755 on the internationals, 183 for two. Thanks Harsha, what a sight, what a reaction, what a, what a celebration of, uh, of the sport, of sport in general. Uh, Ravi Shastri said in a, an interview a week ago, he said I just want Told the team, I just want them to see this as a festival of cricket. See the next six weeks of their life as a chance to express themselves, embrace the occasion, love the occasion, and perform in the occasion. It also means that with 15 overs left, it's a, a promising situation. Eight and over from here gets India past the 300 mark. Just to slow things down. Not, not with the balls like that, they won't. No, 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 you're right, you won't. Magnificent shot over. And then we do for four. I've never seen JP Dumini bowl so short. About. It's difficult for spin bowlers. Lovely. Yeah, it's Lovely. a tickle down the fine leg. 
for four. No, oh, fantastic shot. Yeah, as you said, my body is very, very flat at the moment. Just need a little tickle on that one. Oh, yeah. it's too easy for a guy who's in. He's, he's becoming very hard to bowl to here. Your margins. Oh, what a shot. <laughs> That's one of the highlights of today. That's for sure. <laughs> the response to that brilliant short ball. That's humiliating for a quick bowler. Yeah, fantastic delivery, and then you get smacked back over your head the next ball. Short. Uh, and just back of the length. Go full. Slow ball that is murdered. Six. Oh, yes. The man right at the top of his game. And his team loving for it. And so do they. A Coliseum. This is just off the chart here. Put perspective to hand and, and think this is one of the great fast bowlers of all time. Chip Darwin's tearing him apart. There is a man out there, but he won't have anything to do with it, I don't think. Ooh. Tell you what, Solid in the rope. we might see the umpire raise a couple of arms here. How does he hit the ball later on in the innings? That's why Ajinkya Rahani is no easier to bowl to. <laughs> that is opportunity. Oh, it's in the air. Under it. Oh. There's a good catch from Amler in the deep. He's gone. Shikadawa looking to see if it's a front foot, no ball. So Shikadawa's hanging around. Oh, it's tight. I think he just got something behind the line. Oh, that'll be very, very close. <laughs> the Indian crowd's watching the She's screen. Slowly. Short ball, good delivery, good change-up. And a good catch in the end there by Hashim Amla. It caught me a bit by surprise what Amla was doing. Oh, has he got this one? I was at straight down his throat. Yeah, got him. Simple. That's a bit too easy up from Rainer. Short ball for Morkel. Just the plan. Everyone's going to bowl short to Rainer once again. Just hits it straight down his throat. Deliveries the mid-on, mid-off has been up. And I'm going to cue myself up to hit over that. That's exactly oh, what I think Rahane did. Yeah, that's a good shot. That's exactly what, what he needs to do. He knows it's going to come one way. He's got the field and he just needs to connect one. It's a fabulous cricket shot. Just a good shot from Rahane. Oh, a close. Big shout and got him. Yeah, well done, Dale Stane. It's fast. It was straight. Changed the length. Look. The fact that the fine leg and the square leg are up in the, in the ring, so he's probably going to go wide and full. Yep. Chance Ooh, for I've got to be quick here. Oh! A.B. De Villiers again. I already have to correct it. He's gone again. He's such a quality fielder. How quick did he move and throw the stumps down? Today he's not even sticking around. He realises he's short. De Villiers two from two. He's hitting within his reach. He's fairly strong. No, oh, well done from Donny. Just a little bit too straight from Parnell. And just had to help on his way. Fine leg up inside the circle. And what has Donny got? Has he got something special in these last few overs? I think Donny can guess where the delivery is going to come because Mudon and Mudoff are in the circle. So you realise that he can't really be full and straight at the stumps. He'll just be able to lob that back over his head. So that's the change up. Cuts across it. Only equal to the toss, just whoops it around to the leg side, and the placement is perfect. That's why I'm saying he needs to get the one of the mid on mid off back on the fence yeah, to force him to bowl that delivery. Otherwise, every time you do that, it's going to be four. I reckon you need one of these men yeah, back absolutely. on the fence when you to Tony. So strong mid on, especially in mid off. Anyway, I'll, I'll be sacrificing that deep mid wicket for a deep mid on man. And this is the over. This is the over. This one could be the big one. Well, so I was talking about the best place to bowl to him is wide, and we've seen it in the RPL that the guys target that wide line with the full Yorker, so maybe get the mid-off back, yeah. mid-wicket up, and say to him, if you want to walk across and try and hit the leg good side, luck. good luck. But yeah. if you're going to bowl full tosses with two men up, he's going to pick you off.
What's he got now, Doney? Short again. That's going to be four more. That's bad bowling from Punnell. Just starting to lose his radar here. Where's this Doney one gets going? something over wide mid-off or something. Oh, he's got a little feather on that one, yep. Well, bowl more no more. Well, South Africa having a good finish here to the innings. Slowly dragging him back. One delivery to go. Can India find a boundary? Well, well bowled Dale Stone. Excellent last over again. South Africa finish off very, very well. Get a little bit of momentum going into the change of innings. India posted a big score though, 307 here at the MCG in front of 90,000 people. 307 for seven. Let's go. Let's see how India defend this. Off the mark straight away is Hashim Amla. It's Umesh Yadav who starts up for India. And he's gone for it straight away. Has Quinton de Kock. Fortunate. It's gone straight over the keeper's head. Bounced a couple of times and gone for four. It'll just be one. Yeah, and when you look at the 300, I suppose you despite it being a good wicket despite us going on about these days 300 is not necessarily a, uh, a see how strong his bottom hand grip is really grips that bat hard with that bottom hand it's expecting to be quite strong square of the wicket and the air tagan just spoons it to mid off he had to come forward to take that catch it's a good catch the MCG erupts because India have their first wicket. It was a matter of time. You could see he was nervous. You could see he was trying to... It's edged and it's gone for four. Not the way he'd have liked to end the over. Can you believe it? No, I can't believe it. It's 30 for one. That didn't happen. That is off the chart. Beautiful stroke. Brilliant fielding. Dreadful running. <laughs> good throw. Good backing up. Miss. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Can you believe Rain has missed the no, stuff from there? Right. He should have hit all three of them then. Or done a jaunty and thrown himself at them. Horizontal. Well, we're watching Hashim Amla with a big bat. He ranks with anybody. Just needs a boundary there to break the ice a bit. India have had a good little period. See a lot of short balls at the moment. Another short ball. Now, now, now. now. Catches it beautifully. What judgment that is, and what a wicket it is. The short pitcher works just as we're talking about it. And of all people, Hashim Amla falls for it. We're talking about attacking bowling, though, weren't we? It's a good pull shot, but he's played it down and in front. It's an excellent shot. Yeah, this is quality from De Villiers for the Indian team. Well. Down the wicket and uh, just shorten the length easy. So they're getting a move on. 61 for two. That's shot. a fabulous shot. Excellent shot. Faf Duplessis. This is something you'll see from Faf Duplessis. Love. If they stick around. That'll go to the boundary. This might well be it. Eight runs. So disrupting Jadeja's rhythm there. 92 for 2 and the 50 of the partnership comes up in 58 balls. Shot. Beautiful shot. And there's the full ball we're talking about. Not easy to play that. What a way. Start again. Despite a few dots being bowled at them. We push for 2 here. They're going. Ooh, it's tight. Ooh. Oh, oh, it's a direct hit. Can you believe it? That's going to be out. 
was good fielding from Mohit Sharma. He was moved out of position uh, last over, but uh, that, he was very quick to the ball and a good strong arm. I think it's a direct hit, or MS has quickly whipped the bales off. It'd be very interesting to see this replay. Well, well. There you go. He is short by some distance. Collects and MS Dhoni saw the way that he just tossed the ball up in the air. He knew. And this is not the way you'd expect that you'd get A.B. De Villiers. It's a huge wick at that. It might just be a case that there are those four dot balls before. And so instead of just the single, he goes for the second, takes the arm on. And the fielding's really good for Mohit Sharma How to good get is that back throw? here. How good was that throw from Mohit Sharma? Yeah, that's what it means to Grant Smith. That's what it means to... Out. Important. Game-breaking, probably. Maybe, I should say. Got it. Is that out? JP didn't even wait for the dreaded finger. He turned and he left. As South Africa might be. Graham Smith is stunned. He's in the stands watching his team. And in Philander, how long he is going to be out of action for? Can he ball the four overs today? Uh, with every shot, it is gone. That's the end of the match for India. They've dominated for about the 10th over on in their innings and they've gone on to win comfortably for 130 runs. If you had told anybody at the start of this match when they went out to toss that India would win this by 131 runs, they'd have thought you'd been, uh, you'd been tasting some of the wines in this country. <laughs> but that's exactly what has happened in front of 86,000 people at the Melbourne Cricket Ground. India have turned up an outstanding performance. They batted brilliantly, made 307 for 7. And South Africa, after a promising start, just came apart and have been bowled out for 177 to lose by 130. The seamers did well, the spinners chipped in as well. But that man there, Shikhar Dhawan, he was the one who provided the impetus. So, India win by 130. And if you had the opportunity, of, if you're one of those who had a ticket here at the MCG, you saw uh, quite a spectacle being here, I must admit. 86,000 people, lots of noise, many Indian flags, it's like an Indian city. Yeah, there's going to be a big party in the Indian community in Melbourne tonight, and I'm sure back in India, millions of fans will be celebrating. They've totally outplayed South Africa today. Shikadawan was absolutely outstanding, well supported by Jinka Rahane. It's India's third biggest win against South Africa. And it's come very, very early in the tournament. Mahendra Singh Dhoni shown an aggressive side to his captaincy we saw that against Pakistan as well he said close in fields he's used the spinners very judiciously he likes playing with spinners his Dhoni's uh, led the side very aggressively he's uh, set close in fielders that slips everywhere generally he's, he's, he's looked pretty much in control not to ponder over for uh, a a b a b de Villiers yeah, going back to MS Dhoni, he, he did captain really well today, but he, you need to be backed up by your bowlers when you, as a captain, and, and he certainly was today by his bowlers. The, the opening bowlers, Yadav and Shami, hit the deck hard. They got a little bit of swing and put the uh, South Africans under pressure. The spinners backed him up. Jadeja, here's the last wicket. He gets a lot of his wickets like this. Skidding on, that's going to hit middle middle and leg, and that's plump. He has the illusion of spin. <laughs> <laughs> there wasn't any. It was just going straight through to, uh, to hit the stumps. I mean, you look at you look at it on paper, and Stan, Morco, Philander, it looks a good side. But you never know what can happen when a game starts. You can't predict the fact that Philander would go off after four overs, that Morco would sort of blow hot, blow tepid sometimes, and that uh, Barnell would have a bad day. So you can't budget for those. I think South Africa will come back stronger because they're a quality side.